What's going on Pokemon trainers? This is Mark bringing you another Pokemon Crystal playthrough video. Last we left off, we managed to obtain the Squirt Bottle and we caught ourselves a Pseudo Wudo, and here we are now at the National Park. Now the National Park has a variety of neat items and events that you can take part in. If it happens to be on a Tuesday, a Thursday, or a Saturday, you can join in on the free bug catching contest, which gives you the first opportunity to catch a Wild Scyther or Pinsir. Now Scyther is one of my, uh, one of my most beloved Pokemon, but he evolves into my most favorite Pokemon of all time, and that is Scizor. Now that only works with trading out and trading back in, if you want to obtain one that has your original trainer ID, but they need to hold the metal coat in order to get that. Same thing with Onix to Steelix as well. Going from a bug to a steel bug type, or going from Onix, uh, who's a rock type, to a steel combination type. But anyway, so now that we're here, there's a couple other things that we can do. We can run through and we can catch a variety of bug type Pokemon if we want to engage in that. We we'll also get an opportunity to catch a Nidoran and a uh, Nido or Nidoran male and female if you want. But as uh, as of right now, neither Tuesday, Thursday, nor is it a Saturday, so we can't really do much here. Now you're gonna notice on this little like walkway here, this little like well I guess like the like the fence or the gate or whatever that is, all these little rings that block you. Like I can't go forward right here, but you'll notice right here to the right of this little kid, there's an opening. We can actually go through here and we can get a few different items. I forget which one this one is. That is Paralyze Seal. Okay. And then if we go the opposite way, we can get the TM for Dig, an extremely effective uh, ground-type move. And a variety of Pokemon that are non-ground types can learn it. And it's extremely effective. It's a, uh, if you don't recall, a two-move a two move or two-round move. Dig in the ground, they attack, they miss, and then you pop up from the ground and kick them in the face. Extremely beneficial if you want to use it against uh, any enemy that's weak against ground-type. But, you know, I, I don't really use it a whole lot myself. But I have in the past, and I have found it to be extremely effective. All right, what do we got here? There it is, so we got the TM, and I think there's one other item just up and around this little alcove of trees. Let's go right around there. Now, unfortunately, unless it is Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday, the bug catching contest does alter the certain Pokemon types that you can engage in catching. So if I wanted to catch myself a Sizer or a Pinsir, I have to wait until tomorrow. Isn't there supposed to be like a hidden item right over here, I thought? There it is. Cool, got another full heal. All right, so uh, if you want, spend some time, catch a Nidoran, Nidorina, or a Nidoran, uh, male and female, evolve a Nidorino and Nidorina, and then later on into uh, Nidoking and Nidoqueen, respectively. Nidoking has always been a Pokemon that I've uh, fancied having in my lineup. If you're looking for that, great combination of attacks, extremely powerful, but I'm not really here for that right now. Although, mm, I might want to replace it with Togetic, but I'll probably do that later. Right now, what we really need to be doing is going towards Route 36 and 37, getting through there and seeing if we can make our way to Ecrotic City, or Ecrotic, I always forget. I say Ecrotic, but if that's wrong, whatever, sue me. And I think that's just up north here, so we're going to go ahead and bypass that. Also, if you happen to do a good job catching Pokemon here, this is where you can also obtain your first Sunstone, which is, uh, if you don't remember, an evolutionary stone that uh, evolves Pokemon like Sunkern. Uh, well, I think it evolves into Sunkern and Sunflora or something else in between. I don't remember, but Sunstone is effective. It does have a, a couple of important uses, so. But we're going to skip through here. I don't think there's really a whole lot of beneficial Pokemon. I know that you can catch a Ghastly at night, but uh, that's only a 20% chance. And again, it's only increased from the evening, so I'm not really going to wait around all night for that. But let's go up north. What does this say? Trainer tips. Use Dig to return to the entrance of any place. It is convenient for exploring caves and other... Oh, it's right. You can use it outside of battle now. Forgot. All right. And remember that we already just popped around here. We took on Pseudo Wudo and we caught him, but we're going to go ahead and go straight up. And now we're in Ecrotech, Ecrotech City. There's a variety of things that we want to do here. Um, some of the stuff it is... I don't remember if I'm being completely honest, but I do know that we're going to run into, I think, the first line of, like, EV trainers... Oh, shit. What the hell does this guy want? Uh, you I think you went on your very first Espeon and Umbreon here with, like, the EV sisters and, like, what, the dance hall or something? I don't remember, but we'll take a look. Hi, I'm Bill, and who are you? Oh, hey! Okay, I thought that was our rival for a second. Hmm, Marcus Haunt, you've come at the right time. I just finished adjustments on my time capsule. You know that Pokemon can be traded, right? My time capsule was developed to enable trades, uh, with the past, but you can't send anything that didn't exist in the past. If you did, the PC in the past would have uh, broken down, so you have to remove anything that wasn't around in the past, but simply no sending new moves or new Pokemon in the time capsule. Uh, da 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 That's fine. Cool. All right, so there's that. All said and done, we can go back and we can visit Bill in Goldenrod City if we want to. 
but at this point there's really no need. Uh, I don't really care to do that, so we're not gonna bother. Um, I think the dance hall is somewhere over yonder. Let's take a look and see. We're gonna do a little exploring of Ecrotik first. Oops. Let's see, what is this guy? What's going on? Ah, you're on an adventure with your Pokemon. Well, what's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Oh, oops. Hit the wrong button. What's an adventure without treasure hunting? Am I right or am I right? Yes, you are right. Good, you understand the true spirit of adventure. I like that. Take this with you. Market received item finder. Sweet. I never really use that much. If I, I typically have a good eye for areas... Uh, I have a reasonably decent eye for areas that uh, I always assume could be hiding like a hidden item or something like that, but I don't really spend a whole lot of time looking for hidden items. Um, let's see. Let's see if we can go ahead and take this guy on right away. Yep, alright, sweet. I forget, let's, I forget who's actually in here. Ecrotic has what? What gym? Let's take a look here. It looks like... Okay, so we have the dance hall. Oh, that's right. Okay. So, the dance hall is where we get HMO3 Surf. We'll worry about that in a minute. Morty is here. He's the one that we take on uh, in this gym, and he uses a bunch of uh, ghost-type Pokemon. So, Ghastly, Haunter, Hunt, Hunt, uh, Ghastly, Haunter, Gengar, and another Haunter. His strongest Pokemon is Gengar, but depending on how he throws him out there, you might actually beat Gengar first. Um, let me think. Hmm. You know what? Let's go get HMO3 first, and we'll save the gym battle for next. I want to raise my Pokemon up, Pokemon up a little bit more because he might be somewhat of a problem. Is this the dance hall here? Dance theater. Yep, here we go. Let's go ahead and take this on. Alright, so I'm assuming... Let's see. Oh, wait. Leafeon and Glaceon weren't a part of this yet. So I was thinking that maybe the color-coded would have anything to do with what Pokemon that they would be using. But the green isn't going to matter because Le Leafeon is not available yet. Alright. Uh, yeah, let's just wipe these guys out and get Surf. Isn't my Barret pretty? Oh, Pokemon battle. All right, let's see. Shouldn't be too hard. Our, diver our diverse lineup Pokemon should be fine, but if we go up against an Umbreon, Alakazam is going to be extremely mm, incapable of winning the battle. <laughs> Shoot. Umbreon. Oh, they're a lot weaker than I remember. It's, I just do so much grinding in between videos that I don't remember exactly how... how complicated how it used to be. Oh, crap. Okay, let's use Water Gun to see what that does. I can't believe that Bite did very little. Uh-oh. Umbreon's gonna be the toughest one that we have to go up against. Oh, crap, I didn't heal my Pokemon either. Alright, uh, I'm going to try normal cut and see how that does. I don't think it's going to do a ton. Oh, sweet. Okay, it does a lot more. So there you go. That's a good one. I missed with cut? Hmm, that's a jib. Alright, now if I throw Alakazam out there, he should be able to wipe out the rest. Alright. Uh, let's go ahead and switch him out. I hate that it looks like I've Mr. Mime in my inventory. Or in my line. It's so dumb. Lovely Pokemon. May I see them in battle? I don't know why I just did that voice. Well, you can, but Alakazam is going to wipe the floor with you. Alright. Let's clean it up. Flareon. Ah, Flareon looks super dope in Crystal. I love that sprite. It's so cool. All right, we're gonna go ahead and use Psybeam first. Now, the Alakazam family of Pokemon, or the Abra family, Abracadabra, Alakazam respectively, are extremely weak when it comes to their defense, but their special attack and they're so fast that they should be, for the most part, capable to defeat the majority of Pokemon in one or two hits, as we've seen right here with Flareon. Now, we're not, uh, I don't have a huge level advantage over these guys, and as you saw against Alakazam, we had a significant uh, level advantage, and it didn't even matter. Umbreon was pretty tough. If it wasn't for Cut, Croconaw would have been in some trouble. And while I don't abide by, like, 
strict Nuzlocke rules. If any of my Pokemon are knocked out, then I don't use them anymore. Okay, Espeon's gonna be a challenge here. If Alakazam can't wipe him out in one hit. So, Psychic types are weakened by... Psychic in the previous game and now Dark type moves. I probably should have swapped out for Croconaw and used Bite a whole bunch of times. Okay, I'm mistaken. That didn't work at all. I just need to use... What else do I have? Confusion. Let's see if that does anything. Is Confusion considered Ghost type in this, or is it... Hmm. We're still good. We're still good. We'll use Psybeam again. I don't think Espeon learns any useful Psychic type moves for a while, but he can learn some TMs right off the bat. But it looks like this Eevee evolved directly into Espeon. Tackle, Tail Whip, Sand Attack, nothing else. By this time, I'm assuming maybe Bite, Quick Attack, something? Yeah. Sweet. I don't have any Electric type Pokemon, so Vaporeon is going to be able to do some damage. Let's see, we took out these three, right? Yeah, there we go. I'm assuming this is a Poron and that's Jolteon down there. And I'm just guessing based on the blue color of her kimono. See, I love the sprites. The improvements over Generation 1 Generation 2, it crazy nice. It looks really good, especially the color palette as well. Now this is a test. I don't know how strong Alakazam's gonna be up against Vaporeon. Five level advantage with Psybeam? Okay. Didn't do as much as I would like, but still significant. Uh, don't take too much damage. Okay, that's fine. Uh, Vaporeon might still live after this one Psybeam attack, but... Come on, come on... Ooh. A little close. How does he miss? I don't understand that. Confusion will just finish up the job. Finish the job here and give it, uh, just... Boom. There we go. Alright, so Croconaw, Gyarados, and Pidgeotto. We can't use them against this last trainer. I have a feeling that Jolteon's probably going to be the weakest up against Alakazam, so I'm just going to stick with Alakazam in the number one slot. Growlithe could use the experience just to level up and learn a few more attacks before swapping out uh, and ultimately evolving into Arcanine down the road, but I don't have any stones on me, so I'll just have to wait. Plus, i got to do a little more research because I don't remember what attacks Growlithe learns and how long it'll take. Um... But I do need to level up a little bit if I want to stand a chance against the uh, Gym Leader Morty. He would probably kick the crap out of me, so I don't think that I'm going to challenge him head-on right now. I want to get my Pokemon at least all up to level 25 to 28, maybe 30 if if I can. Hey, alright, that did a lot of damage. Alright, Jolteon's down. We should be able to talk to the sisters and get Surf. And I'll probably teach that right to Gyarados, for now, until I can get another Water-type Pokémon. Well, considering my lineup, I don't think I probably will. I'll keep Gyarados around for a little bit, but I'd... I might do the Move Deleter, take Cut away from Croconaw, teach him Surf, and teach Cut to another. Which would probably be Scizor if I can get a Scyther, but that'll be a little while. Uh, let's see. I put a different flower in my bar. Okay, I don't care about that. Alright, where is the person who gives us the... HM. Not only are the Kimono Girls great dancers, they're also scared of Pokemon. I already challenged them, but I've never even left a scratch. Then the way you battle, it was like watching a dance. It was a rare thing to see. I want you to have this. Don't worry, take it. Oh, sweet. Okay. Pokemon swim across water. Alright. Cool. Alright, so let's go to our pack. Let's go to our move list. Thunder Punch, Attract, Fire Punch, Fury Cutter, Cut, Surf, Use. Yes. Gyarados. Sweet. And we got Surf. Awesome. Alright, so, recap. We took a look in the National Park. I showed you guys where you could get Dig, the TM. I think it was TM28, just by going in that little opening. We talked a little bit about what you can go on in the National Park, including catching Pokemon like Pinsir and Scyther. Of course, it has to be on a Tuesday, Thursday, or Saturday. Now that we're in Ecrotech City, there's a variety of things that we have to do. We've already taken on the Kimono Girls, beat all five of the uh, EV evolutions available in Gen 2, and we got HMO3 for Surf. Next up is a challenge Morty at the Ecrotech Gym, and hopefully I should be able to walk in and just wipe the floor with him in the next video, but I have to do some leveling up first before I can do that. His ghost type could be problematic, so I want to make sure that I use a good line of Pokemon that can counter that. If I don't have the right lineup, then hopefully leveling up uh, a lot over him would be enough. But 
there you are. If you guys found this helpful, useful in any way, be sure to let me know in the comments. Drop a like, always helps me out down below, and subscribe. I want the channel to grow, want you guys to be a part of it, and hopefully you're enjoying the content as much as I am making it. But either way, I appreciate you watching this video, and I will see you next time when we continue our Pokemon Crystal playthrough. Take it easy.